So today I'm just going to um, play around a little bit and make some super sweet little uh, bookmarks. Hi everyone, I'm Diane and my passion is painting and creating nature-inspired watercolours in my studio, which are easy for you to do too. So welcome on board, click subscribe and turn on notifications and let's learn to paint watercolour. I've got, um, this is a piece of Bockingford 140 pound watercolour paper, cold press. So it's got a little bit of texture and it's reasonably firm. And uh, I'm just going to dabble around with some paints, which are left over from something else that I did a while back. Um, I've got a ruler here, which is quite wide, and uh, I can just use it to measure off each bookmark as I go along. So I just uh, do a line like that, and then I know where I'm going to be painting. I'm using a size three round uh, synthetic brush. And I've got some little pots of paint here. Um, it's, it's sometimes nice to sort of limit yourself to just a couple of colors. It can look quite sort of pretty. Excuse the dogs, they're just playing. Um, so I've got some, some green here that I've mixed up for something else. Um, I'm just gonna use up these remnants. This is a little bit of Venetian red or English red, one of those colors like that. I think it probably came out of this palette. This is Naples yellow, which is a nice soft um, yellowy color, nice and gentle. So. So far, I've done these two, and um, they're really easy to do. Uh, and I've embellished the larger leaves here when I got towards the end with some dots using the, um, the Signo pen here, which uh, is good. You can also use a Poetique water brush pen thing um, to draw some of the stems if you're not sure about keeping it very fine using a brush, because it can be a bit tricky. But the way I um, am going to start doing these ones today, you never know what you're going to turn out with, do you? Um, when you start painting, sometimes it goes a completely different way to what you expect. But I've got, um, this is some green here. I think this is a mixture of olive green um, and a bit of um, blue, ultramarine blue or something to give a kind of softened green so it's not, uh, not harsh at all. And then what I think is quite fun is just to draw in all the stems and just randomly place them on your paper, just anywhere. Doesn't matter if some of them are a bit thicker, some are a bit longer and shorter, or roughly about an inch. And uh, just cover the paper. Don't go too, too close together because you'll want some space in between. But if you just put those in like that, first of all, then um, pick up a bit more green. And um, if you want to do it nice and pale, just pick up a little bit of green with plenty of water and just drop in your leaves. You can do them as light or as dark as you want. You can vary the color. If you keep the, the shades a little bit on the sort of gray green side, it's, it's kind of a little bit more, um, uh, what's the word, sort of stylized. But if you go for the natural colors, more like this one, um, then it's a bit more natural. So this is quite a relaxing thing to do. Doesn't matter how you do it really. You can do more than one type of leaf. You can do ones where there's more than one coming out of the base of the plant. And you can do them fairly big or very small, tiny ones like that. And once we've done all the leaves, we will put in some flowers. You just need a smallish brush, really. And you don't need any skill. You just need a little bit of time. That's the other thing you need. And um, I don't know, the desire. Okay, so then we're gonna pick up a little bit of this uh, Naples yellow, which is a sort of semi-opaque color. 
and I'm just going to scatter yellow flowers around. Sometimes I think um, the bright yellows are a little bit too much. I mean, they can look quite sweet, but um, Naples yellow is a good colour. If you haven't got any, you could get yourself a tube. And then um, the other colour that I'm going to use for the flowers is this uh, Venetian red, just because I think it kind of goes. I think it's Venetian red. What is it? No, Indian red. It's the same thing, really. Although, obviously, people who live in Venice or India would have uh, take issue with that, but it's a similar colour. So we're just putting in some flowers, different shapes, if we can think of different shapes, different sizes. You don't have to do it all in two colours. You could do lots of different colours if you wanted to. And so has every stem got a flower, right? So then you might want to come back with a bit more stronger paint and just put another dab in there to give it a little bit more, you know what, oomph. Same goes for the yellow ones. The ones that are a bit pale, you just give them a bit more oomph. And then what I did on the other one, I just picked up some, some of the Indian red and I came in and did some dots wherever there's space is. And then the uh, Naples yellow as well. Let's do that. And then go back to the green and just put very delicate little, you really do need a smallish brush for this. But I'm sure most of you will have a small brush because usually when you buy a, a beginner's set of brushes, they very generously give you lots of small brushes because they're cheaper and so it makes it look like a better value set. Okay, and you could spatter if you wanted to, or you can come in with um, your pen and what I thought was quite nice on the leaves that have enough colour to show it, you can do some lines or some dots. Remember when you're using these brushes, these pens, that um, you have to use them very lightly for them to show. So when you're drawing, you just hardly let the pen touch the paper. And it's funny really, because doing these lines does make a difference. And dots on the flowers, I don't know, it just makes them look really cute, I think. Even though it's a small thing, tiny thing. It does something to the eye, I don't know what. Just makes it look more delicate, doesn't it? Okay, so that's... We've now got two of those, so that's a set of two. And then all we need to do is literally cut it off. If you want to um, make these last longer as bookmarks, you can either laminate them or you can buy little plastic sachets to put them in, like little plastic cases. Or you can get some of that Dorland's wax which you can just coat it with, um, or uh, which makes it a little bit stiffer and a little bit more resilient, or else you can um, spray with a polyurethane varnishy type thing, the sort of thing that they use for pastel painting. So we've got two sweet little bookmarks there, and one which is a little bit more bouncy. And uh, why don't you have a go and see what you can come up with, because I'm sure your designs will be absolutely lovely. This is just an easy way to start by putting your stems in first, then your leaves, and then the little flowers at the end. Back to front painting. So I'll see you again soon, everybody. Bye for now.